Hi, my name is Oliver, and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create cool wavy smoke in After Effects. Now as a preparation, I have illustrated this cigarette in Illustrator and simply imported it into After Effects. This will sort of serve as the prop and I will create the smoke coming out of the end of the cigarette. So to get started, we'll be creating the smoke trail, the simple version of it before applying any effects. So to do this, we're going to use the pen tool, select it up here, simply press G. Now what I want is sort of a circle around this end of the cigarette and then a narrow trail going up into the sky. Now we won't be illustrating any of the waves, we'll just make it straight and we'll let the effects do the work. So if we just click and drag, we can adjust the anchor points to our liking. So sort of create this circle, make it go up into this narrow trail, then down again and end it. So we can just adjust the points to our liking and this we can also change later, so it doesn't really matter that much, but this is sort of the main shape that I want for the smoke trail. Now I'm using the white color and you can change this to whatever you like, but this sort of works well with my color palette. So to move on, we'll be applying an effect called Wave Warp. So just go to the Effects and Presets tab, search for Wave Warp, drag it onto the smoke trail. Now to make things easier for ourselves, we can just Press enter and rename this to smoke trail, like that. Now there's a few settings that we'll be tweaking. And the most important one is the wave height and the wave width. But to get started, we're actually going to adjust the direction. Because as you can see right now, the waves are in the wrong direction. So go into the direction, just change this to zero. Now you can see this looks pretty extreme. But we're just going to alter the height and width to sort of fix this. So if we try and drag these out, you can see that the width just changes sort of the amount of waves. And then we have the height that changes how wide it is. So we'll just play around with this until we get something that we'd like. So perhaps that's something like this. Now if we try and play this back, you can see that there's a few problems occurring. Now the first one is that the bottom part isn't really pinned to the cigarette. So it looks like it's not coming out of the cigarette at all. And the second one is that the speed is way too high. So the speed is quite simple to fix actually. We'll just go to the wave speed and change it to something like half, so maybe 0.5. Now if we play it back again, you can see that this looks a lot more like smoke. So to change the pinning, we actually have the setting called pinning and we can go and select the bottom edge but the thing is that it actually has to be close to the bottom edge. And if we move it away, you can see that this sort of happens, but then it's not a part of the cigarette. So what we're going to do is right click the smoke trail, click pre-compose and just call it smoke trail. So if we double click the composition, we get into it and we actually have the smoke trail here. We can just select it and drag it all the way down to the bottom. And now it should pin properly. As you can see, but then if we go back to the main composition, we can see that it's not aligned properly with the cigarette. So we can just drag the smoke up to align it and it's all perfect again. So let's go into the smoke trail pre-composition again and adjust some settings. Now this wave actually looks pretty mechanic or robotic, you could say. It doesn't really look that organic because it's the same motion happening over and over again. But there's a way we can fix this. So if we go to the wave warp, Click on it and then copy and paste. You can see that it gets maybe a bit too extreme, but we just have to adjust some of these settings for the second wave warp. So if we just drag out the width, perhaps maybe a bit more height, you see that we just keep on adjusting these so we get the smoke trail that we actually want. So perhaps something like this we can try and play it back. You can see the motion is a bit more organic and not the exact same all the time. Maybe we want a bit more adjusting. So something like this perhaps. So you can see that this is way too much, but you sort of just have to tweak around until you find some smoke that you'd actually like. So I'll just use a minute for this. So now I have the result that I like. 
and we can actually move on. So what I want is the cigarette to be visible through the smoke, so we'll actually have to sort of make a tiny hole. Now the way that we do this is if we go into the smoke trail, we can just go up and select the ellipse tool. So if you don't have it visible, you can just click and hold, select the ellipse tool. Now we're going to click, hold down command and control and shift, and drag it out into a circle. And now we just want to sort of reposition the anchor point. So select the anchor point tool, select the ellipse, then click and hold down command and control like that. So for convenience sake, we can call this circle. And now we want to select the smoke trail and use a track mat called alpha inverted mat. So this just punches a hole through it. And now if we select the wave warps and copy them, we can paste them onto the circle. And as you can see, we have the hole punched through. And now we perhaps want to alter the settings a bit for this one. So it's not the exact same motion. So just change it a tiny bit, perhaps also change the speed a bit. Let's find it for both of them. Just alter it a little bit, but not too much. So as you can see, this is sort of the result that we want, but also it's a bit too extreme because it actually punches a hole through the side of the smoke. So just change it a bit more. So now that we have something that we like, we can actually move on. So if we go into the main composition, we can play it back. And as you can see, we perhaps want to sort of change the position of the smoke trail a little bit. So maybe right around here. Maybe put it down a bit. So now we want to actually animate the smoke trail. So it comes from the cigarette and goes up into the air. And the way that we do this is that we go into the smoke trail. Now we're going to actually turn off these effects just as we're working with this because it will actually be easier to animate the path. So we go into the smoke trail and then we open it up, go into the contents and the shape, then the path, and we're going to animate this path. So click the stopwatch. Now this is the final position actually of the keyframe. So we can just drag this further ahead into the timeline. And now we're going to add another keyframe to the start. And this is where we're going to alter the actual path. So what we're going to do is that we'll drag these two points from the top all the way down. Now we can press set and just zoom in to make it more visible. And now we have to adjust some of these anchor points to make it less pointy. So something like this. And now we actually want the top to be round. So it's not such a hard transition, you could say. So the way that we do this is that we alter the actual anchor points. But as you can see, this anchor point has no handles. So we just go up into the pen tool, click and hold, and select the convert vertex tool. And we just click it and drag out to actually give it anchor points like this. And now we can select these anchor points and drag them up to create this sort of rounded look. Sort of like this. And now if we go to the end of the animation, we also want the top to be rounded. So we can go all the way up and select them and just sort of round out these anchor points. So this actually just creates sort of a smoother transition and that's really what we want. So if we play this back, this is quite a simple animation. And you'll see that if we enable the wave warps again, this will actually make a lot more sense to so play it back. Now you can see that the smoke trail is actually being animated all the way up. So if we go to our main composition, there's something we can do to make the smoke trail even smoother. So first of all, we'll use an effect called Gaussian Blur. So we apply this to the smoke trail. So if we set this to something like 12, you can see that this blurs out the smoke trail, but then we can go ahead and use something called a simple choker. And this just makes the edges cleaner. So if we choke it like this, just go ahead and adjust it until the edges get sharp again. So you could, you'll have to zoom in to actually see where that point starts to happen. So that's maybe right around here. Then we can zoom out 
And as you can see, it actually takes something away from the smoke, so it trims it a bit, but it also makes it smoother when we animate the start. So as you can see, it's a lot rounder than before. So if we just try to disable these, you can see it's not as round, but this just makes it a bit rounder. Now, this creates a bit of a problem with the circle down here, but the way we fix this is that we just go into the smoke trail, click on the circle and press S as in scale, just adjust this to something like 80% perhaps. Go into the main composition. We perhaps want to adjust the position of the smoke trail a bit. Then we just play it back. So now you can see that the smoke is animating upwards. But as you can see, perhaps the bottom of the smoke is a bit too extreme as it's waving a bit too much. Now we can just go into the smoke trail and try to adjust the settings. So if we open up the wave warps, can try and alter the settings so we get something that we'd like. Now we have to alter both of these. So perhaps the wave height is a bit too extreme. Just change that up a bit. So perhaps something like this. So we can just try and play it back. As you can see, that's perhaps a bit better. Now we can just copy and paste these wave warps onto the circle as well like this, just go into the main composition again, play it back. So this is what it ends up looking like, and I could go ahead and tweak this forever, don't really think anyone would appreciate that. But the thing is that there's really endless potential with this, as you can tweak it and create whatever smoke you'd like, you can tweak the path or the wave warp settings, and you can really use it for any project you'd like, and that's the really smart thing about this. So. That's all for this video, make sure to go down below and leave a comment, tell me what I could improve on and what I did good, and also tell me what I should be teaching next. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified when I upload future tutorials. If you want to dive even deeper into animation, you can click the first link in the description down below, that will take you to my Skillshare courses, and if you sign up right now, you'll get the two first months of premium for free, and that's really all for now, I'll see you next time.